You guys need to be in your seats. On March 1st, at least 30 Castle Rock Elementary School students were riding the bus home. You guys want to see how dangerous that is? Oh, you get that? That's why you need to be in your seat. Turn around and sit down properly. If you guys can't do that, you will get written up. You get that? The students, ranging from kindergarten to sixth grade, were confused and startled from the jolt at just nine miles per hour. This little girl in the back of the bus picked up her phone. When the driver dropped her off at the stop, she started crying. The driver closed the door and started to pull away before opening the door to speak to the adult that picked her up. Is she okay? Is she all right? During the driver's explanation, the kid sitting in the back piped up to listen to the exchange. They were running all over the place. What? They, they have to sit in their seat. We they were. would not get bounced around if they didn't. We were. So I'm sorry that she got hurt, but there was 60 kids on here bouncing all over the place, and I'm the substitute driver, and the driver that normally doesn't does not have any control on these kids. So I was trying to get them to, to get in their seats. I had them on the microphone. I said they need to be in their seats. I was coming to a stop, and I hit the brakes hard. Because they weren't, they were not listening. So I'm sorry if she got hurt. She wasn't the only student who told a parent they were hurt that day. My son came tearing through the door that afternoon. He sprinted all the way home. He was out of breath and red faced and absolutely sobbing and shaking. Um, he was terrified. When Lauren Thompson helped her fourth grade son calm down, he told her what happened on the bus. She immediately called the district's transportation office, asking them to pull the video. He had slammed his head into the, um, the seat back in front of him. Another buddy had slammed his head into the window, um, so his neck and his head were hurting. Lauren was especially concerned because her son was still recovering from a concussion after slipping on ice a few weeks before. In those moments when he's telling you this, how do you feel? Scared to death that somebody hurt my kid. Um, you know, I, I know not all the kids on the bus had a concussion, but instantly I'm like, okay, do we need to go to the, uh, the ER? What's happening? Um, who is this person? This is not their regular bus driver. That person, that driver, is 61-year-old Brian Fitzgerald. He was hired as a bus driver by Douglas County School District in October. Internal school records reviewed by 13 investigates reveal Fitzgerald had just finished up class less than a week before and was, quote, only half driving by himself and is not experienced in dealing with difficult students. In the days prior to the incident, he had been driving special education students. This was his first time driving a general education bus. The evening of the incident on the bus, Fitzgerald wrote this letter to supervisors, which 13 investigates obtained from his employee file. He expressed concerns about what he described as a historical pattern of improper student management on the bus he was driving that day. Fitzgerald wrote that he told the children on the bus to sit down four times before hitting the brakes while rolling to a stop sign. He ended the letter saying he was sincerely sorry for his actions, adding, being a new driver, I did not make the best decision, and if I were able to redo what I did, I would rethink my decisions. Fitzgerald called himself an old school guy during an interview with the district. He was pulled from driving all school buses in Douglas County the day after the incident. The district then sent the information to the Castle Rock Police Department and fired Fitzgerald. You guys want to see how dangerous that is? We take for granted inside the school is safe. We trust they have all been vetted and are safe. And I hate that we can't believe that, but we can't. Now, Lauren is preparing for her son to testify if the criminal case against Fitzgerald goes to trial. 
A spokesperson for the Douglas County School District tells 13 Investigates, riding a bus to and from school should be a happy, enjoyable experience for students. The behavior and actions of this bus driver are completely unacceptable. We are so grateful to the parents and the principal who reported this incident, allowing us to take swift action and ensure this driver was never again allowed behind the wheel of a DCSD bus. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.